Good morning everybody. Today we're doing a new full face of one brand video. This one I was actually recommended to do and for some reason it didn't really cross my mind until I read the comment. I was like that is such a great idea because this brand I feel is one of the most underrated brands here on YouTube. Just in general as well. I'd never really heard of it for a long time, but it is Nabla. They put me on their PR list a while back and I wasn't really expecting much. I tried heaps of their stuff in like a first impression. I think I might have done like similar to a full face back then as well. But yeah, I was just shocked. I was like, holy crap, like they've got some great things. So today I'm gonna do a full face of Nabla. This is not sponsored or anything, but heaps of the stuff was like free in PR um, and I'm just gonna like let you guys know what are my like favorites because I actually have a few like holy grail products that I definitely recommend to like heaps of people so if you're looking to try a new brand and you've not tried this brand like watch this video because there's so much stuff and heaps of it's probably gonna make its way into my wedding day makeup too because I just love how it looks like every time and I've also got some new stuff to try so I thought it would be fun you can get Nabla off of Beauty Bay pretty sure so I'll link it down below. Um, heaps of this stuff's vegan. I think it's all made in Italy pretty much. I think it's an Italian brand, which is so cool. So yeah, this is new to me. This is called the Viper Lip Plumper. I'm excited to try it. I actually quite like lip plumpers just because, wiping off my lip balm. Um, I have very like dull lips. Like right now they look kind of okay because I've just like scrubbed them. But um, yeah, normally like my lips are very dull looking. So a lot of lip plumpers like, Besides the fact that it can give them a bit more size and volume, it just makes them look nicer because it makes them more like pink. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes when I'm not wearing makeup, it's just nice. Hopefully it's clear. The packaging is dope. Look at this. Looks like there's got a big snake on it. Always takes ages the first time, eh? Come on. I'm a little bit scared because some lip plumpers are like full on like the Too Faced one. Like if you know, you know. <laughs> it smells kind of good. Okay, just see what happens. It feels so moisturizing. Like it feels like a gel. Oh yeah, I can feel it tingling already like on my tongue. It reminds me a lot, like the feeling reminds me of the tart one that I really like. The little like jellyfish looking one. Oh yeah, I feel it. I feel it hard up. It feels so moisturizing and just tingly, like spicy. All right, I've left it on for like <clears throat> four or five minutes just to see how it felt. It got like worse, but now it feels fine and it feels kind of cold. If I rub my lips together, it kind of hurts a little bit. It's weird. It's bearable. On their website and it just says foundation, conceal, powder, highlight, blush, contour, bronzer. So maybe they don't have primer. I don't have one so I'm just gonna use a different one quickly and then we'll just go straight onto the eyes I think. I'm gonna use one I have not used in a while which is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm just popping that literally all over. I like putting this like over my brows too. It kind of just like puts them in place which is nice. I'm gonna take a concealer brush with some concealer and go over my eyelids and around the eyebrows. So I've got no fake tan on right now. I think I might take the shade Ivory. I really like this concealer. You've probably seen me using it quite a few times. It reminds me of like Shape Tape by Tarte except not as like cakey. It might not be as high coverage, but it's still got really good coverage. Like, you'll see over my eyelids just here in a second. And it feels, like, quite hydrating. And it still works really well around the eyebrows as well. Like, it doesn't leak into them or anything. Like, it doesn't move about too much. You don't really need a lot of product either. Like, you can see it spreads out real well. Like, if I cover that pimple between my eyebrows, you can see, like, the coverage is really, really decent. There you go. You can see how it covers. My eyelids are so dry at the moment. I've said that in another video, but if it looks a little bit dry, that's why. It's not the product's fault. Literally everything looks like this on my eyelids right now. Now, I don't know if they have setting spray either, so I'm just going to use a different setting spray quickly. Just miss. Oof. It's not really a mist. More of just a friggin' straight to the face. Holy crap. This is the Makeup Magnet Mist by Pop. Just because I feel like it might add a little bit of hydration. I need to figure out what eyeshadow palette we're using. They've got so many beautiful ones. They do neutrals really well, jewel tones really well. I feel like using some color today. So I'm going to just have a look through my collection and pick out something. Guys, I'm not even shitting you. I was literally just pulling out all my palettes and I got another package from Nabla. Like what? That's fate. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Inside we have the side by side nude palette. We'll have a look at that. We have a glitter palette and oh, lip liners. Yes, I love lip liners. They're one of my favorite steps to do in makeup. Um, I wear lip liner more often than I wear lipstick these days. Like I always wear lip liner 
and then sometimes I'll add lipstick on top. So I'm just going to quickly open up these palettes too and I'll just show you like a few of my favourite Nabla palettes. I have more than this too but this is the glitter palette. I'm going to keep it aside in case we want to use some. This is the Cutie palette in Wildberry which is really fun. I have used like some of these palettes in random tutorials and things and like full face first impressions. That one's bomb. I've always meant to do a look with this. This is the Cutie palette in Metropolitan. This one is Soul Blooming which I love. It's like pastel tones. So cute. We have Poison Garden. The page and all these is dope too. I love this one because it's got really nice everyday tones and then like royal tones. And then this is the Dreamy palette which is another one that's really wearable for everyday really like blush tone and there's like a couple of cool pops of color too and then the new edition side by side nude palette Ooh, i like the texture of the paper this one is like dark and deeper nudes which is quite fun and some nice grays too which you don't often see in palettes so yeah Hello, it's me. Maybe I'll just use a few different light colors from different palettes because I just can't choose. All right, so I'm going to take an angled shadow brush first by So Beauty. And the first palette I'm going to dip into is the Cutie Palette in Metropolitan. And I'm going to take the shade Nothing Personal. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner part of my crease like this. You can see the pigment is incredible and it goes on really even. And then the next colour I'm going to take is going to be Sistina. And this is from the Dreamy palette by Nablo. And this is like a peachy undertone, like neutral almost. And I'm just going to like blend that through the rest of the crease like this. I'm kind of placing the colour and then we'll blend it out shortly. You can see I'm not using a primer today. Um, usually I'd use my P. Louise, but I just forgot to be honest. Now I'm going to take a Tulip crease brush. And I'm going to take a tiny amount of Illusion, which I've used before. Just this colour right here, it's a little bit more like, you know, neutral undertones rather than peachy. And I'm going to blend out that colour. I've gone in way too heavy handed right now, so this is going to be dramatic AF. Just doing little circular motions all the way across. Now I'm going to go in with the cutie palette. This is the Wildberry one, and I'm going to take the shade Botanic Juice. And I'm going to pop that on at the outer corner and just blend that through. It's such a stunning like purplish shade. I'm not too worried about the outer corner, we'll clean it up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Blackberry, the same brush, which is like a real deep purple. I'm just going to blend that on the very outer part. I'm just like trying to use heaps of different colors today and just get a little bit creative. So kind of going with those coral tones, pink tones, purple tones. I just have to use this one, Bucolic Baby. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not too sure. But I'm just going to take the Cupid's Arrow. This is like a little, like just eyeliner, eye base, whatever you want to use it for. This is an arrow number one. And I'm just putting this on kind of like where I'm going to put the color on top. It's just a kind of nude shade, like a medium taupey nude. So I'm going to start with, yeah, that color I just said before. This is a crease detail brush. I'm going to put that kind of on the ball of my eye, like the very center. These would work great with fingers too, but I've got long nails, so it's kind of hard to put it where I want it. Oh, those colors are cool, man. I like them. Pop some setting spray. I'm going to flip my brush and use Alchemy 2.0, which is like a little top coaty kind of purpley, pinky duochrome. I might put on a little bit of a lasker on top, which is this one just here. And then I'm going to go in with this one, which is called Virgo. How do I apply these? Like, what's the best way to apply them? Do I just like use my finger and just stamp it? I can't really put it like in a precise area, so I'm just kind of like smacking it on wherever it goes. I feel like these would be better on top of like a sticky primer. It's like right now they're just kind of like floating about. I'm going to take a little bit of Immaculate, which is like the most stunning light highlight shade it's like a gold see i'm really going in with like a bit of everything today hopefully it turns out nice oh jesus it's so pigmented i'm trying to like blend it out a little bit it's very pigmented oh my goodness whatever we'll just do a real intense highlight to go with it i guess okay i'm just gonna clean up the outer edges and come in exo beauty product alert i'm just gonna wipe away the excess product and then i'll just use concealer to get it like extra sharp just because I feel like if you go straight in with concealer, it just looks muddy. And I've got like glitter everywhere, so I just want to remove it before we continue. 
Although the glitter is proving a little bit difficult to get off. Okay, now that it's cleaned up, like that looks so much nice. I fricked up that highlight though and it really annoys me. Like that side looks nicer. That side looks a bit muddy because I've put shimmer on top of the crease color. But what can you do? I've screwed up. Beware with that color. It's so pigmented. All right, I'm going to get a sponge ready because I really like the um, foundation we're using today with a sponge. So let's do another before and after. I love these before and afters. So this is a flawless finish sponge bag. So if you don't want to give it a quick clean with my XOB brush soap. And after, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, foundation, one of my favorite products by Nabla. I love this foundation. It reminds me a lot, if you've ever tried it, of the Chanel Vilumia Aqua, which I used to like rave about back in the day. Like this is a really good alternative. I use L35 and M20. So I'm gonna use L35 today because I've got my fake tan on it. Hopefully it's still not too dark. And I'm just going to simply blend it out. Oh, wait, did I say what it's called? It's called the Nabla Close-Up Futuristic Foundation. Weightless, soft focus, perfect complexion. This 30 mil, I love the packaging because it's so compact and lightweight. So it's perfect for like makeup artists or just yourself if you're like traveling with it and stuff. Like it's obviously not like the most beautiful packaging in the world, but it's so practical. So I really like that about it. You can see it looks quite like full and yellow right now, but wait till we like set it and then go in with like bronzer and everything, it looks pretty much perfect. Um, like I said though, it might be slightly too dark because I really have nothing on my body right now. Um, I scrubbed the absolute crap out of my skin in the shower today because I want to do a fresh fake tan tomorrow or the next day. That's my current situation. This foundation feels so lightweight on the skin. I feel like it's applying a little bit funny on top of that primer though. So just maybe skip primer or else use a more moisturizing primer rather than sticky. Like it's still okay, but it's usually a bit easier than this to blend. Now I've got another color that I'm gonna use under my eyes. This is light peach. Cause it's a little bit more salmon tone and look how purple under my eyes are. Like it's not okay. I look like a zombie. Like watch how magic this is. Just like immediate fresh. <laughs> like when I don't have my under eyes concealed, I look creepy when I've got like the rest of my makeup done I mean not like we've got no makeup on just if I've got like foundation on and I've got eyeshadow on and stuff and I don't have concealer under my eyes I look like I'm like a zombie or something like it doesn't look right and that color is so nice under my eyes just to help color correct a little bit and it's so smooth like look how bright that looks it looks a mil I wish I just did one eye to show you like this color is so good. Right, I've got some translucent setting powder. I don't really know if this is like a favorite item from Nabla for me. But then again, I don't often like these kind of powders very often anyway. But I don't have anything else to set under my eyes, I don't think. So I'm just going to use this. Actually, that one is nice. It's smooth. It doesn't like dry out under my Yeah, that looks good. I don't know if I'd like use it all the time still because the step of how I just don't do it all the, time. All, the, all the time. Why am I like literally gibberishing right now? Um, usually I go in with like yellow powder or whatever. But that does look good. But on the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Close Up Pressed Powder. So I've got the shade Light Hair. Close Up Smoothing Pressed Powder Compact. We're about to move on to some of my all time favorites by Nabla, guys. Get excited. So this is the Brow Pot in Venus. I really do like this. It's just a classic pomade, but it's not too full on to use. It's nice and easy. Take a small amount of it. This color is really good too, because it's very like neutral with a touch of cool. So it looks good with my hair color. I'm literally just gonna do some like little brush strokes. I've just had my eyebrows tattooed recently, so they don't need too much help, but it'll just kind of fill in any gaps. Like, there's not many, but I just wanna use it. Do I have a brow mascara by Nabla? I'm not sure if I do. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to fill in my brows right now because of the tattoos. <laughs> Love that for me. I'm just gonna use a touch of a brow mascara too, just because I've got a little bit of powder stuck in my eyebrow hairs and it looks a bit dusty. This is the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. It's just nice just to like naturally pop them in place. And it does add a little bit of definition because it kind of like wets the hairs, you know, like hair gel. I'm going to take a little bit of Nothing Personal again because it's a fun colour. And I'm going to put that like underneath the front part of my eye, pretty close to the lash line. And then I think I'll go in with the Dreamy palette and take um, Sestina again. It looks very bright, but I'm hoping by the time I put on my mascara and everything, it'll like... You know, it'll kind of look cool with like the black lashes. You wouldn't believe it, or you probably would believe it, but half the friggin' stuff I need for this video is in Hamish's car, I'm pretty sure. I'm waiting for him to give me a call back, but I literally have looked over the whole house and I can't find my little Z palette with all of my favorite um, 
Nabla items in it. Literally, I'm so upset right now because if they aren't in that cart, I don't know where they are. Little where they are, and it's like the whole freaking purpose of this video because they're like my holy grails. <sighs> I'm gonna link my wedding day makeup tutorial that I've filmed down below. Check out that video. I use like all of them, so you can see how those look. I'm literally going to repurchase them after I film this. Even if I find them again, I don't care because I'll just use them anyway. <sighs> I'm so upset, but luckily I do have some other products we can use today that are also really good, but I do prefer the other ones. Don't know why, they just look so bomb every time I use them. This is Umbra Skin Bronzing Sunkissed Effect Bronzing Powder. This is really nice too, but I do prefer Saint Tropez, like just the color. It's amazing, but I'm going to use this. And I'm going to pop that on like the high points of my face. You can see the color's stunning. It just gives you a really nice sun-kissed glow. And it's like not super matte. Like it's not like shimmery or anything. But it just gives you like a nice finish. The blush, I've not used this one yet. But this is Lola in their Skin Glazing um, Glow Powder. I feel like I'm losing my mind because I can't find that stupid Z palette with all of my little single powders in it. So this is like a berryish pink kind of tone, which actually looks really nice with my eye makeup, luckily. Because I think this is the only color I've kept. And then, for highlighter, I have a couple here. You guys have probably seen me using these too. This one's Amnesia, this one's Privilege. I think today we're going to use Amnesia because it kind of goes with the brow bone a little bit more. I'm going to apply a decent amount of it, just because I've got so much highlighter on my um, brow bone. Oh my gosh, we get to try out the lip pencils next. I'm so excited. Okay, this has worked out okay. Like, we pulled it together, even though I couldn't use my holy grails. I'm actually upset. Like, I actually feel stressed. Where is this freaking palette? I'm gonna use the little pencil I used before in my waterline. And then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my Nabla Magic Pencil in Light Nude. Just to brighten it a little bit. And that's a really nice color. And then for liquid eyeliner, we have the Cereal Liner Precision Liquid Waterproof Eyeliner. Looks like this. Oh, this one's made in Korea. So I'm just going to do a wing. Looks really nice and dark and doesn't look too shiny, which I like. I'm just going to do a thinner line on the inside. The tip's really nice and flexible. It doesn't seem to be bleeding. Looks nice, I think. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still not perfect, but that is like the most even I've had my eyeliner in a long time. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Okay, next up, Major Pleasure Mascara. I do like this. I've used this a couple times in videos. The wand looks like that. I'm just going to wiggle this through. I'm going to wear falsies just because I feel like the look will be set off with falsies. I use falsies most of the time, so. This mascara gets your lashes so thick with just like one coat too, so I like that about this. I like it because I can just chuck it on nice and quick. Don't have to mess around too much. I don't know if you can like see, but it is really nice. I'll show you on the bottom. Crazy long. <laughs> All right, so there's the mascara alone. It looks really pretty, but I'm gonna add on some of the Lover Stacked False Lashes by XO Beauty. So here is how they look before <laughs> and after. These ones are just really thick. They're not too long. Like they had a little bit of length, but not too much. I'm actually so excited because look, they come in heaps of different shades of nude for like every skin tone. So. I don't know what kind of nude we're gonna do. I'm just gonna open up a few and I'll just show you which one I'm gonna choose because you'll see more of these in my videos if I like them anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited already. They look shit, <laughs> stunning. Gold and you can see like the color of the palette. I mean, what palette pencil I'm supposed to say. So we've got nude one, which is like obviously the lighter one. Nude two, a little bit darker. Nude three, a little bit darker than that. I might go in with nude three and try it out and just see if we can do like a little bit of an ombre. Very creamy. A really nice color, I think. It goes on pretty smooth. I've actually decided to go in with Chloe lipstick. The aging is so pretty on these. It looks like this. And this is just like a pale nude. A matte formula. Pretty as. They also have liquid lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks, lip gloss, like everything. And so far, like every time I've tried any of the formulas, I've liked them. So why is my earring not like it's not even in my ear hole? These earrings are honestly so uncomfy. Oh my god. 
Okay, I'm going to add some of this lip gloss. This is the Shine Theory Lip Gloss in Champagne Supernova. I love the name. And it's like a bronze. So I have no idea what it's going to look like on because I don't usually go for this kind of color. It's quite pretty. It smells good. Just adds a touch of bronze. But it looks really nice with the nudes, I think. Like it's a little bit of a different kind of undertone to what I normally go for. I'm not disliking it at all. Okay, now I'm just going to fix my hair a little bit. So I might just take out my earrings for a moment and get them out of the way. So I'm going to take my GHD Rise. Is that what it's called? Rise again? Um, so I've got some hair protectant spray. I've got my brush. I'm just going to prep my hair. Oh god, I just got that in my eyes. Ow, ow, ow. Just adding some dry shampoo slash foam. This is the Got To Be by Schwarzkopf Foam Dry Shampoo. So I'm just going to like smack it on through the roots. I'm going to do each layer through here. So I'm just going to take like random sections, I think. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I've used it in my 80s look to do like volume at the top. And it worked really well, right? So this time I'm going to try and get like a blow wave look. All right, guys, well, that's one side done, and I'm in love. My hair looks so bouncy, and I didn't even do it, like, the best. Like, I'm still learning, but I kind of got the hang of it. So, like, what I liked to do was kind of took sections. I could probably section it better, but I kind of, like, went like this first and, like, got that root lift. And then what I did was I, like, ran it through. And then when I got to – sorry, I'm grabbing all these random sections. I kind of, like – weaved my hair through and then almost like rolled it like a hot roller like this and then just left it there again for a few seconds and that kind of gives you those really big bouncy like kind of blow wave wave vibes and then sometimes I would just like keep the ends in and then just rotate it until it like falls out just to give it a little bit of like an extra little like bounce and curl so yes that is the finished one brand of a nabla kind of video <laughs> i did my best i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you like the colors i used today i feel like they're really really vibrant and i feel like my fitbit matches the eyeshadow really really well which is random i'm gonna add a little star down below to all of my absolute favorite nabla products just in case you were a little bit confused as well like what's your favorite what should i start with kind of thing so yeah but I don't think I disliked anything I put on my face today. So I don't think you can really go wrong. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what brand I should do next for my full face of one brand. I really need some ideas. Bye.